like sewer systems, which is a non-conventional system for providing uh, sanitation services, primarily within um, highly dense uh, populations. And in this particular case, highly dense uh, low-income areas. We have been implementing uh, the, inst the installation of uh, temporary sewer sewage systems within uh, Nairobi uh, in Kuru, Karuben informal settlements as a high density area uh, towards being able to provide for them a sanitation service for management of their wastes. Um, the purpose of actually having a simplified sewer um, in context is to be able to provide an option for managing wastes and having this implemented um, within Mukuru, the residents have a given a level of dignified living in the water they, in the, where they're living and also just be able to give them a safe space to live in also at the same time. What constitutes um, uh, the characteristics of a simplified sewer system, unlike, unlike the conventional system, is one, we're dealing with shallower depths in terms of, uh, of, of uh, trenching for, this, for the system to be installed. Uh, two, we're also dealing with lower, with, with a smaller diameter of, of piping, less than uh, between 100 millimeters. And thirdly, also is the aspect of it being <coughs> ideally designed. The design is actually simplified in terms of where you can install it. An example of this, when you're doing um, the project within Mukuru, you are actually installing the network within the pathways of the low-income area. So there are several key factors that uh, are considered in the design of a simplified sewer. The first one, which is the main one, is basically the need for the sewer service to the specific area that you are designing uh, for. Then that need will uh, definitely flow to how much of the population are you serving. Then the major thing is um, availability of um, complementing infrastructure. And one of the major one is uh, water supply. The system can only work in an area that you have absolutely continuous supply of water because it needs water for it to operate. Then the other major uh, factor to consider is uh, availability of the wastewater treatment infrastructure. How far is your block in relation to the treatment facility? What connecting infrastructure do you require for that? What makes Nakuru an ideal location is simply uh, mostly the topo topography. Uh, we are usually, the topography here is controlled by the existence of Lake Nakuru. So there is a gentle slope that slopes towards the lake and therefore it gives uh, an, an easier way to convey sewerage, which is mostly done through gravity. The technical steps that will be used or employed when implementing these projects will include an assessment or a feasibility assessment generally looking at the area, seeing how viable the project will be, seeing the ability of the residents to pay because it's an important factor, and also how accessible are these people to nearby services. Can we connect all of them? Uh, can, is the terrain favorable for this kind of drainage? So some of these things is what we we'll look for when we are planning for these systems. To elaborate further on the technical specification for a simplified sewer that uh, was used in Naivasha, we adopted uh, a new pipe technology that is uh, DWC. DWC stands for double walled uh, corrugated uh, pipe. So it's, um, it's a new technology, especially in the Kenyan market. And, uh, for us, we took it on board for the simplified sewer, but of course uh, it's also a technology that is being used for conventional sewer system. The minimum diameter for the line is, has come down from 160 mm to 110 mm. Why is that? Because uh, unlike conventional sewer, that can also be a combined sewer system, taking the household wastewater and also the storm water. Simplified sewer is a closed system and it only meant to take in household waste only. So because of that, the loading then uh, is relatively smaller and therefore we can be able to work with smaller diameter pipes. Then the major uh, technical consideration is uh, alignment of the system. 
unlike a conventional system where you do your line on the road reserve, then it's upon the user, upon the target consumer to do their own network to feed into the manholes. For simplified, CUA is a bit different. The design requires that uh, someone goes, does an analysis of the of the wastewater holding infrastructure for each of the household that you are you are designing for, and then um, once you've done that, then it will speak to the depths that the minimum depths that you need to do your systems within the road reserve. So that's a technical consideration that uh, is a bit unique for simplified sewer system. The other, the other thing that uh, is a major factor and a technical factor is the positioning of inspection chambers. Remember, unlike a conventional system where people will come and connect in manholes, for simplified sewer, that is not necessary. We use uh, pipe fittings, uh, tees and elbows, and then at strategic position, we introduce now inspection chambers, basically to, for the operator to just open the system and see, not necessarily to take in uh, new uh, connections into the system. So we were able to bring customers on board through continuous engagement by having a public baraza. We also had a landlord meet, meeting uh, in blocks of which we had identified would flow into the condominial sewer system. And this was made possible through various partnerships that we already had uh, from a project partner, uh, WhatsApp. We were also able to subsidize cost of connection through providing for labor through the contractor. We were also able to provide for designs at a free cost. And we were also able to provide some pipes and fittings for the connection. So ideally the cost that the customer would incur was the cost of connection, which was uh, 5,000 Kenyan shillings for the case of Nevasha water, and also engage engagement with the artisan. For customers that could not be able to pay for the connection fee upfront, we were able to get them into a part payment through social connection, whereby they had up to six months to complete uh, payment while they were still connected into the condominial sewer system. While you're doing these storage projects, we include the connection aspect. Uh, conventional systems, the way they are designed and implemented, means that a sewer system is placed and then you wait for the connections to come in, which usually there is a very big lag uh, that affects even the performance of the systems. So in this approach, we ensure that by the time the contractor is leaving the construction site, all the people who are we, who can be able to be connected to the system are connected and therefore even for the utility in terms of revenue it is an immediate impact. For Naivasha we've been able to do 3.8 kilometers of simplified sewer in uh, Kasoko. We did phase one and phase two. All combined is 3.8 kilometers. For the last uh, 13 months since uh, we started uh, using the system that we did in Kasoko We've never recorded a single uh, blockage of the network that we've done. Uh, it's been in operation now 13 months, but all that, within all that time, we've never had.